Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties in person, online, and with art kits. And today I'm gonna be splatter painting some jeans that I bought um, from the buckle. I was very excited about these jeans. The girl said that they were in style, coming in style, and then I put them on, and I think they're cute, but the lady said they would, yeah, she's like, yeah, they're good. And then I put them on and I literally like, how many of y'all have watched Tiger King? I felt like the guy, the, um, the affliction, you know, he wears all the affliction stuff. And so, um, I don't know. I just, and then I, I turned around and Bobby said, what the heck happened to your butt? And he said, he said it looked like I slid down a bunch of like, concrete pavement so i was like okay i can't wear these so i am going to splatter paint them so um and i'm actually going to be stenciling them as well so y'all let me know if y'all are excited about seeing this if y'all want to if y'all want to see me take a brand new pair of jeans that i was gonna wear yesterday and then ended up being too tiger king-ish i just couldn't do it i could not do it um yeah, my husband used to wear a lot of affliction stuff when we lived in Panama City Beach, and I don't know why, I just don't, I don't, I know, I know some of y'all out there love it, and that's totally fine, <laughs> um, but it's just, it's just not for me, and so these are, um, I do love the wide leg, though, so I did get another pair that don't have all of this on it, but I'm going to actually just kind of paisley the bottom, so I'm hoping by the time I'm done with this, I will love them. If not, it's okay. Somebody at, at Goodwill is going to really hopefully enjoy these or maybe I can donate them to somebody. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see where they, where they end up. Okay, so I'm taking white paint and I'm just gonna put this paisley on the bottom by where the, um, the bell bottom part of it is. So if y'all have not wa started wearing all the bell bottoms that are coming back into style. Here's why I love them so much. And I know this doesn't have a lot to do with painting, but I think it's important. So the bell bottoms, I'm wearing a pair of them right now. The reason I love them so much is because they make, especially if you have like bigger hips, because the, the bell's on the bottom, it's like it makes your hips and everything look like your waist looks smaller. So it's kind of a, a trick. So sometimes people are like, I don't know about those. Why are, why are they doing that? Plus, I just, I love that style of clothes anyway. Um, I think it's just fun to wear. So, and if anything can, can do that, that magic, why not, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna bring over the paisley. And for those of y'all on here, let me know if you have ever bought a pair of jeans that you thought you loved in the store and you got home and you realized you made a mistake. <laughs> I put them on yesterday morning and I, I looked down and I said, I think, I'm, I, think I made a, a, a bad purchase. <laughs> and my husband's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, yeah, I don't think I did a, a good thing with these. And, and he's like, I left you in the store for five minutes. What's going on? So it was funny because he was there and he was kind of helping me pick out a couple of things. And then um, he left, him and Pixie went to go look at something else. And then I was like, oh good, they're not here. I can just, you know, choose whatever I want. Well, sometimes you do need a second opinion, especially when you're not the best at dressing yourself. And so that's what happened in our family was they left. I made some weird decisions, and next thing you know, <laughs> it went south on me. You end up looking like Tiger King. Okay, so um, while I'm on here, I want to take a quick second because I, I talk a lot about doing Facebook Lives and the importance of Facebook Lives as a creative person, okay? So I have a challenge going on right now. It's only $10. And the challenge is, it's the butterfly challenge, and I've added a Facebook Live component challenge to it. Now, why is this important to you? Okay, so you may be on here just wanting to watch me paint these pants. Totally fine. But those of you that normally watch me know 
I love talking all things marketing, all things to do with you making money, doing paint parties online, paint parties in person, or selling art kits. So what I put together was a challenge to help you see the value of a Facebook Live. So like right now we have over 200 people on this Facebook Live. Do you think that when I first started doing Facebook Lives there were 200 people on it? Put in the comments. <laughs> no, it was me and my mom. <laughs> me and my mom every time. Uh, it was not, it was not that way at all. But there's lots of different ways that you can, as a creative person, do Facebook Lives to build that. And that's why I get so excited about helping. Yay, those are looking cuter already. That's why I get so excited about helping creatives learn why that's so powerful. Sorry, I had to, oh, let me turn my stencil over so it doesn't dry. Y'all, I would love for y'all to post some pictures of how you organize your stencils so much. I'm really struggling with that. I love that. I might have to wear these affliction pants after all. If the butt didn't look like that. Um, so anyway, so if you want to be a part of that challenge, and I'm about to splatter paint this up. If you want to be a part of that challenge, all you have to do is click on the link in the description at the top or at the bottom. Um, I, think it's, I think it's in the pin post. It's either in the pin post or it's at the, the very top of this. And um, let's see. Welcome back to the 70s. I'm not a fan of the distressed look, but love some bell bottoms. I rocked them back in the day. Yeah, Francine, start rocking them again. So these are, this is what I should have just bought. Another pair like this. They have the bell bottoms um, and not, <laughs> not the distressed. I'm not loving the distressed either. Um, but I'm hoping after I do some splatter painting, I will love them. Okay, so I'm gonna turn these where y'all can see this this way. So I did a paisley stencil, and then I'm gonna start splatter painting with some of my favorite colors. Okay, so um, real quick, I just wanna talk about why it's important, okay? So a lot of you that are already learning from me or you're brand new and you're just, let me know if you are brand new to me, I'd love to know if you um, are just now learning from me or you have already been learning from me. And um, the reason why it's so important to do Facebook Lives is because now more than ever, there are so many people on Facebook, okay? So you might have your, your teenage daughter, or you might have your, you know, teenage person say, well, it's only, you know, Instagram's the only way. Yes, Instagram is definitely a way, and I definitely am growing my Instagram, but the difference is 500 million people on Instagram versus 1.73 billion on Facebook. So whenever your, your youngsters are telling you, you can't make money on Facebook or you can't get people to watch your stuff on Facebook, just because that's not where they're at doesn't mean that's not where we're at. So I want you to remember, like if a youngster, <laughs> if a whippersnapper tells you to not, to not do anything on Facebook, I want you to ask them to show the bank account. Say, well, can you show me your bank account on how much money you're making on um, Instagram? And if they can show you that they have money they're being made on Instagram, then I want you to, your next question is I want you to say, okay, can you show me how to do that? And then there's a, there's a conversation to be listening to, okay? But for those of you that are new to this world, 1.73 billion with a B is not a bad place to start. Now, do I want you to only be on Facebook? No. Okay, so I'm picking some colors, some of my favorite. I'm picking two brushes, I'm getting them wet, and I'm gonna use them like drumsticks, okay? So I'm gonna dip, and then I'm gonna drumstick. There's many, many ways that you can splatter paint. You can do a full-on Jackson Pollock method, <laughs> where you just throw the paint, literally throw the paint, or you can, whenever I do paint parties at kids' houses, Parents really love the fact that I do a drumstick technique because you get 
really close to it and you can get little bitty splatters without it going everywhere. Um, so anyway, so if you're interested in learning more about that Facebook challenge, um, Butterfly and Facebook challenge, click the link. It's only $10, but you're going to be open to the possibilities of how to grow something creative online through the power of Facebook Lives. So I'm excited to show you. Okay, so what color do you think I should add with these turquoise and gold? Okay, let me know. Should I do a lime green or should I go with pink? Very curious. And thank y'all for um, sprinkling the love. I see some of y'all have done that. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Kim says, I'm thinking about doing YouTube. Not yet though, not brave enough. Kim, you need to take the challenge because I promise you using a few techniques that I'm gonna show you and then actually seeing the power behind it. So my friend, um, I was talking to her this morning. She has, so she did a Facebook Live this week. 1.4 thousand views. That's without Facebook ads. That's just organic, which I'm a big person about Facebook ads, but with her just starting and got 1.4 thousand views just organically, think of the power of that if she runs a few Facebook ads to that. Okay, I think my, my cap on my shirt is starting to get painted on a little bit. Okay, pink, 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 pink. Oh, okay, it has fully been said. We have voted for pink. Sherry says both. I like where your head's at, Sherry. I like where your head's at. Okay, so I can use these to go up here. I might add some extra paisley, paisleys up top. Do y'all think I should add more of the paisleys up top or leave them just for the bottom of the bell? Let me know on that question too. Since these are my affliction pants, <laughs> it's not the brand. So affliction, I'm sorry. I'm not, it's not your brand. It's just, they remind me of your style. They remind me of the affliction style. There's gonna be a affliction representative really upset with me. I apologize in advance. <laughs> Just bottom, and no, I'm not using fabric paint. I'm using acrylic paint. The reason why is acrylic paint just does not come off. <laughs> it just stays. I've ruined so many clothes with, um, with acrylic paint, so many. So I know this is not gonna come off, even if I want it to. I am pretty sure it's all over my face. Yep, starting to get pink freckles. Wonderful. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, add to the top, bottom, but you could do the butt too. I know. I feel like that butt needs something. Teal blue would look great too. Okay, awesome. Let me get some bigger. Let me get some bigger brushes so we can get some giant, more giant like splatter paint on here. I'm gonna see what this does too. Hey, okay, that's kind of a cool. It's already kind of stone washed effect. Okay, let me get some bigger brushes. So the key I like to do with splatter paint is get the brushes wet. And then when you go to hit them, it just goes on a lot easier. So again, I've done this for many paint parties and you do have to be very careful. So outside is best or in a garage. And I've shot paint parties pretty much everywhere and anywhere. People will let me. And I, I did do a splatter paint one inside of a home. And we were cleaning off the walls a little bit. So that was not my finest moment in the paint party world. And then the more you can just play, the more fun it's going to be. And I do want to add some gold, because y'all know I love some gold. And I think I'm going to try to add some glitter. Let's see. Are y'all liking this, by the way? The butt, just the pockets. Oh, that's a good idea. 
<laughs> Everybody's wanting something on the butt. <laughs> I think so too. The butt needs some attention. Okay, let me put some gold on here and then I'll move to the butt. Okay. And then when you're doing um, splatter paint parties or just for yourself, make sure that you are using brushes you're okay with getting kind of destroyed because you are drum sticking them, especially when I do kids events or kids parties or whatever. And because you're doing this drumstick effect, a lot of times I will have to like hot glue my brushes back together. Okay. All right, so we got that. Okay, so here's kind of where they're at now. Let me see if I can hold this closer for y'all. Without being totally, these are kind of cool. So you can see all the splatter on top. And then I'm gonna turn these over and put something on the butt due to y'all's request. Okay, yeah, right there. We need something right there. Okay, let's go for it. Let's see, maybe a little paisley on each butt cheek. <laughs> We're gonna add just a little paisley on each butt cheek. And those of y'all that are new to me, um, just let me know where you're from. And if you wanna find out more about doing Facebook Lives for um, growing your creative business or you know teaching paint parties online, um, go ahead and click the link in the description so you can take the challenge because the challenge is very, very important to know why you need to grow it, how, all of those things. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit of paisley per y'all's request on the pockets. <laughs> Bobby was like, I think, I think those are okay. And then I turned around to do something. He's like, wait a minute, what happened back there? And I was like, I I don't know what's wrong with them. I was talked into a bad purchase. We've all done it, right? Have y'all done that before? Please tell me I'm not the only one. You think you, you, you got something you really like and then the next day you're like buyer's remorse. Okay, some more white. Okay, so I got some of that on the pocket, and now I'm gonna splatter paint back here too. Put my stencil up. If anybody has pictures of how they organize their stencils, please post below. I am really struggling with that. I've tried hanging them on the wall, but I have hundreds of stencils, so um, hanging them on the wall it was not a a good plan because I ran out of wall space. Um, I'm using the bigger brush. I'm actually gonna use both big brushes. Should I add purple too or keep with teal? What do y'all think? Purple or just keep with teal, gold, and pinks? These are gonna be some Texas Art and Soul branded pink and turquoise and gold. So I like the bigger brush better. Just make sure you have it pretty watered down. So I'm dipping in water, dipping into my, my color. And by the way, this is so much fun. <laughs> Some of my creative friends suggested that I splatter paint them. I was just gonna so give it, I was like, oh, I guess I'll just give them the goodwill and Somebody will have some, some new jeans I just bought. And then they were like, no, you should splatter paint them. Splatter paint them online and try that first. I was like, oh yeah, that would be so much fun. So this has definitely been, been worth the mistake. So if you have some old clothes, 
We let, I don't know if y'all saw the Facebook Live the other day, Pixie, apparently, I didn't even know she was doing this, she was taking her old bras <laughs> that don't fit her anymore, and she was um, making, like, toys to hide treats in them for blue, <laughs> which I know sounds so weird, but it was really ingenious. It was a very great upcycling project, but he would have to try to, like, <laughs> get it, she had made it into a whole ball, so it was pretty crazy. And Debbie says, clothes pin to hangers, hang them on their, in the closet. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm sure I could make, ooh, purple. Somebody wants purple. Teal, gold, and pink. Yes, purple. Purple, okay. So I'm gonna add a little bit of purple and then go back to the gold. Oh, actually, let me do the gold while I have it right here. And then I'll show y'all the finished product. Oh, I think my gold, oh, the gold is awesome. Was it watered down? I'll show y'all these up close here in just a second. So don't worry, I'll show you up a little bit closer. Okay, and let's see what purple's gonna do. And then I'll show you up close, and then all of y'all that are interested in learning more about Texas Art and Soul or learning more about how you can do a Facebook Live, to show what you're doing creatively, to start paint parties online, to start selling art kits, whatever that may be, it all starts with doing a Facebook Live. And so if you need to take that challenge, make sure you do. And it's only $10, so. Okay, there's some purple, I like it. The only thing I have not added to the back of this is turquoise. I think I'm gonna just dab in some of my turquoise colors. And you could really get some anger out on this, I'm just saying. Like some serious art therapy happening right now. And then there could be like a flick. Oh yeah, that's fun. So fun. So did y'all see what I'm doing? I'm taking two brushes, two brushes, and I'm just flicking it. So just dip it. It's wet and watery. That gets a lot of paint in a very short amount of time. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, all right, y'all wanna see what it looks like up close? Get the glitter out. Kim, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did th didn't do that. Um, yes, Amanda, this challenge is definitely for Paint Party Headquarter folks, but if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, you don't need to pay for it. So if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, do not pay for the challenge. You'll get it as part of being in Paint Party Headquarters. Okay. And for those of y'all that are like, what is Paint Party Headquarters? We open the doors for Paint Party Headquarters a couple times a year. So um, when we open again in September, um, you can get in there. It's where I, I give you painting tutorials. Everything that you need for a paint party business online, a paint party business in person, as well as art kits and stuff like that. Okay, now I'm adding some glitter. So this is the glitter I'm adding with water. Oh yeah, that's, that's a fun touch. You know what would be kind of cool is if I let these dry and then I just painted, oh yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let these dry and then I'm just gonna paint glitter all over them. Okay, so let me show y'all up close what they look like. Cause I know it's a little harder to see. Okay, so here's the back. Let me see, let me see if it'll let me turn it. I think it will. Oh yeah, good, okay. So here's the back of my Tiger King slash jeans that I loved but then hated. Now I think I'm loving them again. So here's the, the back of them. And then here's the front. Ooh, let me see if I can turn them and hold it. <laughs> And then what I think I'm gonna do is let them dry a little bit, and then I'm going to um, 
just put glitter all over them. What do y'all think? Do you think they are better now that they are not so Tiger King? <laughs> I, was, I was seriously like drinking my coffee and I looked down at my jeans and I was like, I think I made, made a bad choice. And so, <laughs> and so once Bobby was like, I don't know, once he saw the butt, he was like, yeah, but now they're really kind of cute. I don't know, I'm kind of liking them. Okay, so let me know what you think in the comments if you like them. Um, yeah, I think I do need to add a little bit of that purple. Here's my paint and my water. You have to have a lot of water. And remember, some big brushes, you can splatter it on way fast. And then I think what I'll do is I'll take the glitter glue when it's dry and then put them on there as well. Okay, so here are the pants, the affliction slash pants that I did. <laughs> Yeah, you can, uh, Michelle, you can see it again. You can, once I end this, you can rewind. Oh, I have pink all over my face. Um, once I end this, you can rewind it and watch the replay. And then um, I just wanted to say, any of y'all that are thinking about doing Facebook Lives and you need help, um, we have a butterfly slash Facebook Live challenge. Um, it's literally just all been filmed um, just over the past four days. I think we filmed it um, four days ago, actually. So it's a brand new training. Um, I'm teaching you how to do a, <laughs> a butterfly challenge that is going to help you with Facebook Lives. So if you are a person who is interested in, number one, learning how to do a butterfly. Number two, you want to know how you can take that exact thing that I'm teaching and turn it into a Facebook Live. And then also in that, I'm gonna show you how you can check your Facebook insights, all of those things so that you can see that it's something that, um, that you can track because things that you can measure can be tracked and things that can be tracked, you can grow. So I really wanna help you with that. Just check out um, the link below. It's pinned in the comments or it's in the description. And y'all have some fun. Find some old jeans, old jacket. And um, Sarah, one of our Paint Party Headquarter members, she actually painted a butterfly on her jacket, which I'm obsessed with. I feel like I need to go get me another jean jacket just so I can do that. All right, guys, I hope that y'all have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.